This is what you should have learned in Algebra 1 last year, Part 5. So we're talking about the laws of exponents, and the first one is the product rule, which says that x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. For example, if we have x to the third power times x to the fifth power, that would be equal to x to the eighth power. Next we have the power rule, and that's x to the a power raised to the power of b is equal to the x to the a times b. So x squared raised to the power of 6 would be equal to x 2 times 6, so that's to the 12th power. Next we have our quotient rule, which is x to the a over x to the b is equal to the x raised to the power of a minus b. So x to the 7th over x to the 4th would be equal to x to the third power. x to the zeroth power is equal to one, so anything to the zeroth power is always equal to one. And then x to the negative a is equal to one over x to the a. So x to the negative two would be equal to one over x squared. So if we had the example two x to the fifth times x to the third over x to the fourth, we would just add these two exponents, five and three, so that would give us two x to the eighth power over x to the fourth, and now we can subtract these exponents. So we would have two x to the fourth because eight minus four is four, and two x to the fourth would be our final answer.